Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for the prayerful way that we ended this special Mass today, our last Mass together this year. And I want to reiterate the thank you to the sixth grade, to the teachers, to Ms. Travis, um, to Christian for playing, for all that you did in the preparation with the readings, with the cantors. Thank you very much. It was very nice. We have several opportunities um, for recognition this morning. We have many things that I would like to share with you. And some students that we would like to um, that we would like to bring up. And I would actually like to ask uh, Ms. Morales if she can come forward to help us. The first group that we are going to be rec recognizing, Mr. James Barker, is with us. And so I'm going to have him come forward. First of all, I would like to thank Mr. Barker for our, all of his dedicated service to our school through the band program that we have. I think that deserves a round of applause for Mr. Barker. I know I'm always sharing with him how much I love the band, but I'm going to say it publicly. I love everything you do for us, so thank you for all of the years that you have spent with us. So, Ms. Morales. Yes. Good morning. We will start with beginner band. Our advanced band. Thank you, boys and girls. You may be seated. Our drum line. Thank you. Thank you to all of our band members for all of their service to our school. The next group that I would like to recognize is our safety patrol group. Ms. Morales is going to help me with those names as well. Thank you to all of our patrols. This is actually something that they choose to do. And I know that while there are so many of them up here, it is something that they um, choose as a service to our school. And I very much, I know all of us that work that car line and our kindergarten friends, um, very much appreciate all that they do to help us in the morning and the afternoon. I have really come to rely on our patrols. So those fourth graders who are up and coming, this is a service that we very much appreciate, an opportunity to serve your school but also an opportunity to act as those early leaders of our school. Fifth grade, um, not right now, but I think as we, um, at, at the end, as they leave, the kindergarten teachers have a small gift of a token of appreciation for each of you. So fifth grade, if at the end, as you're walking out, then they'll give that to you out, out the side doors. So thank you to our patrols. You may go ahead and go back to your seats at this time. The next student that I would like to recognize is a student who received the award of Disney Dreamer and Doer. Each year we choose a fifth grade student and an eighth grade student, which we recognized at graduation. We choose a fifth grade student who consistently makes a positive impact on others and demonstrates outstanding strength of character. The students write, um, they, they actually write a lot, <laughs> and they put all, everything into writing that they have been doing, um, but the choice is very difficult each year, but we are very, very proud to share that Ariana Adams was our Disney Dreamer and Doer this year for fifth grade. She actually receives several gifts from Disney, including some tickets, I think, too. So it's very exciting. I would like to recognize another of our students who, um, through the CAPS program, Graham, under the direction of Mrs. Debbie Gordon, took part in a rubber band competition. I'm going to share with you, because rubber band competition, you think, hmm, how complex is that? Well, let me tell you, it's pretty complex. The Akron Global Polymer Academy, a division of the College of Polymer Science and Engineering at the University of Akron, 
hosts an annual rubber band contest for young inventors. This contest challenges students in grades five to eight to design and create a working invention or artwork that incorporates at least one rubber band. I would like to call up Mrs. Debbie Gordon and Tyler Walter at this time. Tyler, and hold on because it gets better. Tyler Walter entered on behalf of St. Mary Magdalene Catholic School with his rubber band powered electromagnetic generator. He was the only one from Florida to make it to the finals out of 300 that entered. And this is what his invention does. This is amazing because it's not just about this invention, Tyler. This is about what you chose to do with it, which speaks to who we are as a Catholic school. My invention uses the elastic potential energy of rubber bands through Faraday's law to generate power. The purpose of my invention is to generate electricity that's clean and inexpensive for powering businesses and homes. In third world countries, they don't have access to electricity. If each house had his invention, had my invention as he's writing, they could power their house and provide artificial light after dark. It could give people more options to generate their own power. I'll be honest, Tyler, I, it brought tears to my eyes when I read that. This is what we are all about. And the fact that you thought of doing something like this with your invention, that you put that into writing, was amazing. I loved that. Thank you. What Tyler is not aware of is that he was chosen as the first place winner out of all of the entries and is going to be receiving $1,000 as his reward. Tyler, thank you for the work that you put into that. Mrs. Gordon, thank you for giving him that opportunity. Um, this is what we are here for, to make a difference in the world. Whew, that was very heartwarming. At this time, I would like to ask Jane Chiratino to come forward to present a special award with me. Jane is the sister of our beloved Sister Maria. And she comes and joins us each year so that we may give the Sister Maria scholarship out to two upcoming eighth grade students. Sister Maria dedicated 37 years of service to our parish and our school. And 35 of those were as a teacher and assistant principal. She dedicated her life to God and made the difference in countless lives of others. This year, we are recognizing two seventh grade, upcoming eighth grade students, a partial scholarship to those who demonstrate dedication to school, commitment to education. They embody Christian and Catholic values, academic spirit, and volunteer and service to our parish and school community. It is my honor and privilege to award this year's recipients Caroline Rickard and Tommy McFadden. Jane, we thank you for being with us. 
It is always a very special time during the year when you come to join us. And not only does she come and join us for this Mass, but she makes the quilts for kindergarten. She does so much behind the scenes while she's here. She keeps herself very, very busy. But so many times it's in service to our school. So Jane, thank you for your presence year after year. Thank you for your gifts that you um, bless us with every year. So as we come to a close in our Mass this morning, um, you all have been wonderful today with all this opportunity to recognize our students. I know that Father Charlie had mentioned our Year of Mercy banners as we come to the close of this year. We share those acts of mercy with one another. We share those banners um, as a reminder that we are called to those acts of mercy each and every day. And so while we leave today at the end of the day and we're tired and we think of all the rest and we think of our vacation, what we never take a vacation from is being called to be Christ to each other and called to be our very best selves. And so while I may not be standing there reminding you each week, I'll be present in Mass and looking forward to seeing all of you weekend after weekend. But I ask for each of you, each day when you wake up in the morning, to pray to God asking him to help you to be your best self every day and to be Christ to one another. I wish you a very restful summer, a very safe vacation and safe travels for anyone who may be traveling. We wish any of our special friends who may be moving to other areas the very best of luck and our prayers go with you. And we look forward to coming back together again in this very special place as we begin a new school year in August. God bless you for a great day today and a beautiful and blessed summer ahead.